Hello, this is Daryl Williams. Thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. Hey, I want to talk to you guys about improving your listening skill, improving your listening skills. Okay, there is an acronym that I'm very familiar with. Um, I learned it some 20 some years ago and it's helped me become a better listener. When you are a better listener, you definitely become a better salesperson. Okay? So let's talk about two acronyms that could help you improve your listening and become a better salesperson, a better son, a better dad, a better mom, a better leader, a better boss, etc. Okay, we're going to start with the very first acronym. It is ladder. L A D D E R. The L is for look at the person you are speaking to. Look at the person that's speaking with you. The first A in ladder in improving your listening skills is ask questions. Always ask questions for clarification purposes. You always want to ask questions for clarification purposes. The very first D is don't interrupt. Interrupt. Don't interrupt. That's what the first D is all about. If someone's making a point, they're speaking with you, they're talking to you, don't interrupt them. Listen to them. The only time it's appropriate to interrupt someone when they're making a point to you or communicating with you is for clarification purposes. That's the only time. I almost wrote down the other one. The next D, it's for don't change the subject. Don't change subject. That's a terrible thing. If you're listening, if you are speaking with someone who's really a good listener and they're speaking with you and as they're telling you something or showing you something, you hear something that reminds you of something else and you go, oh yeah, blah, 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 blah. Don't do that. Do not do that. Most professional people are very good listeners. They will just sort of ignore you at the moment and then uh, said, I won't deal with this person again because they don't listen well. So you don't want to do, uh, you don't want to do that. Don't change the subject. The very first E, or the E in letter, I should say, is emotions. A lot of times, if someone is trying to instruct us uh, with something or show us something, if we're emotional at that moment, it interferes with our ability to absorb their communication to us. So what we always want to do is check our emotions, keep our emotions in check, in the proper position, if you will. Okay? That's what the E is for. And then the R is for be responsive. You want to always be responsive to someone's communication. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's right. I'm with you. I follow you. You want to be responsive. This affirms to them that you are truly listening to their communication. Okay. In a... The near future, let's say, I will give you the advanced technique. This is the basic technique on how to improve your listening skills. And in the future, I will share with you the advanced technique. Thanks for watching. Feel free to share this video. I'm Mr. Win-Win. I'll see you next time.